next button down from there is going to be our equipment button. The equipment button it consists of three tabs across the top. The first is machine. Combine is going to be grayed out because it, it knows using the combine yield monitoring system that it's on a combine. It's going to pre-populate the serial number and the machine model. The recording source should be set to auto and the documentation and coverage light should be grayed out. As far as the change offsets goes, when you push these, these this information should pre-populate and you should not have a reason to need to change these offsets unless something physically has changed on the cab of the machine. The next tab across the top is going to be header. Since we don't have a header connected to the single point, these will not be grayed out. Uh, but once a header is connected, these will be grayed out as well and the serial number should populate here. Uh, one thing that is important, we're just going to select one for the time being. So once that happens, it does let us push the change offset buttons. Uh, one thing that's important in change offset is this C button for lateral offset, which is going to be right here. Uh, if your customer is running a stripper header or a header that's offset to the left or right, it is important to make sure that they put the lateral offset in this position. Uh, if this is not correct, it will be very challenging then for them to set up auto track. Do remember, if you're using a header that's offset, make sure that you make the change here and you hit the cycle button to the left or the right, depending on the header configuration. So once we've got our offsets done, the next thing we're going to look at is our widths. So our implement width is going to be set based on how we set it in our combine settings. So we can't change that in the GS3 settings. Uh, the track spacing is where we're going to auto track. So if we have a 30 foot header, we're also going to change our track spacing to be 30 foot. So if, this, if the implement width is not set properly, the way to fix that is hit accept, menu, combine, header. So this 30 foot width moves over to the GS3 settings. So it is important that if you need to change width or the width is wrong, one, make sure that your change happens here and that will carry over into the GS3 settings. So once we're here, the other thing that's, that's here is overlap control. So overlap control is important so that when we're going into the headlands and we may or may not have gotten the header raised and lowered at the right position, what's going to happen is once we cross coverage, documentation will cut itself off, which will increase um, the ability to get good quality yield data. Uh, one thing to remember about overlap control is if you're trying to harvest across boundaries with a 2630, with overlap control turned on, you can only harvest within a boundary. All right, next button we're going to